Well, you could Google a hell lot of things and get super misinformed. Okay, <laughs> don't Google everything that you think should be Googled. Okay, you're not gonna find accurate answers on Google. That's why you have professionals in the field. You can't just do your surgery watching Google, right? That's why you'd go to a hospital if you want to have a surgery. All right, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel, Zerocity. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over this Moni Roy's "What I Eat in a Day" video that Pinkvilla posted because Pinkvilla is my favorite. Yo, we be jamming Pinkvilla like every video that Pinkvilla makes. I hop onto it because that's the Zerocity trend. Allah maaf kare, bhag manush lag raha mat karo. I'm going to go over Moni Roy's "What I Eat in a Day" and I'm going to give you my honest opinion, my breakdown, and I'm going to add constructively on. how and what she could do better in her diet so let's not waste time and get into the diet a morning ritual that you follow i wake up have water with haldi then within half an hour i have hot water with uh, cinnamon powder fish my yoga so morning ritual she drinks her haldi water or hot water with haldi and hot water with cinnamon, cinnamon water well that's good because having hot water with haldi in the morning like it clears your throat and especially if you have any throat problems so it really helps with your throat 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 thro throat baby why can't i say throat throat health <laughs> throat health throat health ha huh, correct okay okay so that's good for your as she said okay and uh, nothing crazy about it that's cool finish my yoga and my morning ritual and then i have mostly almost every day i think my health are also tired of it they make me poha Like one small bowl of poha and this much sprouts. They make it in an Indian way and then they give me. That's my staple breakfast. Okay, well, really good thing she has her poha, but you know what you're missing, Moni? You're missing the goddamn protein. I'm really glad you're eating the goddamn poha, but you also need to add your goddamn protein. Sprouts are not going to fulfill your protein intake. Okay. Like let's take it logically. A hundred grams of sprouts will give you only like six to eight grams of protein. So sprouts are not going to give you all the essential amino acids that your body needs. Okay. Now there are nine essential amino acids, nine non non essential amino acids. So basically, when you talk about the nine essential, you need to get that from food, and only first class protein sources can give you all nine essential amino acids in good quantities. When you talk about the second class protein sources, something like sprouts, legumes, beans, chickpeas, all the wheat. in protein sources these sources are not going to give you all the amino acids in the right quantity okay it's a very well known fact that methionine is lacking is is in very less quantities okay lacking as in in very less quantities in the dal sprouts and chickpeas and beans everything so it's better to add a first class protein source something like curd something like cheese something like paneer eggs chicken a lot of protein sources that you can add okay a whey protein powder a plant protein powder because plant proteins have all essential amino acids due to the combining of their uh, elements and ingredients so that's that's one thing okay but you need to make sure that along with your goddamn poha you need to eat your goddamn protein too okay so a workout that you swear by the most yoga yoga and uh, <coughs> i don't know the lot of with a lot of breathing so yeah okay so a workout that she likes doing every day that's yoga so yoga it's really nice okay i love doing yoga and if you see my instagram like i recently also posted some stories where i was doing yoga and i love it the only problem is you're lacking the stimulus for muscle breakdown with just yoga you're not going to you're not going to build your muscle strength so that's why we do weight training or strength training okay so you can do body weight training you can do home workouts for weight training like you don't you don't have to lift like heavy freaking weights in the gym weight training is very important for your metabolism for your for your strength like you would obviously want to be fit in all aspects now yoga helps you with flexibility no doubt but where is the muscle endurance that comes with cardio and weight training where's the muscle strength that comes with weight training so you need to make sure that you're doing weight training cardio yoga in balance okay and that's what i really do i like i love doing weight training i love doing yoga i love doing cardio so i mix all that and i make sure that somehow i mix all that but most of my priority is weight training you could prioritize yoga and still like do weight training at least like 3 days a week and still get the benefits out of that okay so for you like for your benefit including weight training in your workout regime is really the ideal strategy okay 
Because she's seen practice. you looking fabulous in gym clothes. I must tell you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so she actually really looks fabulous in gym clothes. Nobody would ever deny the fact that Moni Roy looks stunning. Okay, and she stays in great shape. And how do you think she's able to do that? Because she's knowingly or unknowingly eating in maintenance calories. How much she's burning in a day, she's able to eat somewhere close to that in a day and maintain her weight, maintain her shape. and that's how she's not gaining weight that's not she that's how she's not losing weight and she maintains that okay so this is what happens a large portion of people trust me on this unknowingly eat in maintenance calories and that's how they don't lose weight that's how they don't gain weight and maintain their weight okay that's what if you've not seen the video where i where i made the video on saket gokle he eats in maintenance calories you can watch it here i'm telling you lot of people actually unknowingly eat in maintenance calories okay and so i so i suspect the same with moni roy moni roy as well okay please break down what you eat in a day like from the minute really okay so yeah. poha and that happens then which i'm trying to leave now i love my coffee one i used to have three cups of coffee now i have cut down to one and i want to get rid of that as well uh, that's quite difficult yeah so Okay so she likes coffee but she wants to cut down on that. I don't know the reason she hasn't stated the reason why she wants to cut down on the coffee and she's cut down to one. I think Moni you could have a little bit more coffee. Two three cups of coffee a day it's fine. Unless you are actually getting addicted to it and you you really don't want yourself addicted to coffee. I really love coffee. I'm not I wouldn't say I'm addicted to it because like some days I don't have coffee at all and I f- feel fine, but usually I do have 2 to 3 cups of coffee that helps me work better, that helps me go through my workout better. So if that's the case with you, enjoy your coffee. Just make sure that you don't have it too close to your bedtime. Make sure you have your last cup of coffee 5 to 6 hours before bed. That's how it doesn't r- it, it disturb your sleep, okay? So that's that's all cool. But anyway, Let's go ahead with that. Usually lunch time, so that there, there, there I have a full meal, like one bowl of rice with all the possible sabjis that has dal, saag, sabji, everything. It's full Bengali meal. Uh, then after that, if I feel hungry, I have a fruit. Okay, so her lunch is mostly like a very full Bengali meal, which is like dal, sabji. Well, if you are a Bengali and if you don't eat rice, then like, that's like, are you even a Bengali? <laughs> Because I'm a South Indian and. I I can't live without rice and I know that Assamese Bengalis and South Indians are those categories of people that cannot survive without rice okay so that's that's there but again you know I'm going to say it and it's about the goddamn protein I really think that just dal vegetables and rice are not it's not going to give you the amount of protein that your body needs okay so just increase some curd in your meals something some first class protein sources curd cheese paneer again add some soya chunks actually at least that's a good protein source i would say fish bengalis so <laughs> again <laughs> some something that you can add morning after that also i feel hungry i have lots of dry fruits one full mutti they they are the best source of vitamins one must have actually two mutti of uh, uh, dry dry fruits but okay So she eats fruit after lunch if she's hungry and if she's more hungry like after some more time she eats a handful of nuts and like she tells you that it's really good source of vitamins absolutely vitamins minerals uh, specifically magnesium you don't get a lot of magnesium from other foods so almonds walnuts these are really nice sources of magnesium from your diet okay so uh, aim to get handful of magnesium a uh, handful of almonds which will give you the required amount of magnesium that your body needs and it's really good for your uh, sleep okay so specifically at evening times if you have the magnesium if you have the almonds then that's going to help you sleep better and help you recover better from your muscle weight training what you do at in the gym or home whatever okay so it's going to improve your recovery at night so that's a really good tip that you can add on make sure you soak the almond in the water because not not only is it better also the outer coating is not good for you like it, it is some kind of poison they say you can google about it and so always soak it in well you could google a hell lot of things and get super misinformed okay <laughs> So fear mongering should be avoided okay and i really don't like it when people tell you oh, they don't have this it's poison don't have this it's that don't fall for all these fear mongering crap it's the bitter almonds 
the wild bitter almonds that actually are poisonous and can have basically hydrogen cyanide okay and if you have like 50 bitter almonds in your day that's what's gonna kill you okay but not the sweet almonds that you get in the market those are pasteurized sweet almonds that you can safely consume even raw okay so do not worry about it but yeah if you want to soak it then that's cool you can have the soaked almonds especially if you don't do well if you if the if the raw almonds don't suit your body well then go for the soaked almonds or the roasted almonds whatever but you could have the raw normal almonds as well okay don't google everything that you think should be googled okay you're not gonna find accurate answers on google that's why you have professionals in the field you can't just do your surgery watching google right that's why you'd go to a hospital if you want to have a surgery you can't just do anything without professional supervision okay so it's always better to consult a professional or maybe not just me like i'm not telling you to take me as a professional there are lots of other professionals as well okay but what i'm essentially trying to tell you here is that don't google everything okay don't rely on google heavily for all your information specifically for spe even for youtube don't rely on my video heavily for your information do your own research consult a professional ask the professional why and what and everything and then come to a conclusion according to that okay so again coming back to the almonds topic it's the bitter almonds that can be poisonous not the regular pasteurized sweet almonds that we usually eat and get in the market that's all fine for raw consumption as well unless it doesn't suit your body and then you would go for the soaked almonds okay or if i'm home and i feel very hungry before dinner i'd have a little bit of bhel also nicely made with like uh, chutneys or not not really a too many chutneys but uh, say some uh, fried onions and uh, um, cucumbers and some tomatoes it's yum okay so uh, in snack she's having the bhel and everything that's cool I'm not saying that what she's having is unhealthy in her diet. I'm just pointing it out that the protein content is very less, okay? And I've said it in a lot of videos and I always say it in most of my videos. Indians really have a very bad relationship with the protein content from food. And I can bet my life on it that more than 80% of Indians are not eating the right amount of protein that the body needs, okay? And are you going to die if you don't have the right amount of protein? Are you going to starve yourself to death? Are you going to look bad if you don't eat protein? So people are going to tell me, yeah, Moni looks so nice. She's not, she's not eating her protein. As you say, oh, Zilocity, you don't know anything. You just blab or eat your goddamn protein. You don't know science. You don't know nutrition. Well, <laughs> it's just that if you want optimal health, optimal functioning of your body, optimal energy levels, optimal hormones, then you would really want to get the protein in your diet. Okay? And it is scientifically proven. It's not just that I'm saying that I'm eating your goddamn protein. And why I'm telling this is because it is scientifically evidence-based proven. Okay? Ask any PhDs and scientists about it. They will hands down tell you that yes, you need 1.6 grams of protein per kg of body weight, especially if you're working out. If not, then at least one gram of protein per kg of body weight to, S, to just not starve and lose muscle mass and lose out on the benefits of your metabolism and your hormones and everything, okay? So, I hope that is clear here. Are there any special diets or rituals you follow while traveling or on sets or, you know, if you have... Not really. If I, if I have to, if I know that I have to be in uh, a certain, uh, in a certain shape, then just I avoid carbs, that's all. But other than that, no, I, I have not. It, you know, honestly, diets have not worked out for me. It's not like that. I haven't. I have tried everything in the world. I think. Well, there's one thing that Moni has not tried, and that is consulting the goddamn velocity. Because what I do is I don't give you a diet plan. Okay, I just coach you on how you could eat smarter, eat better, eat your goddamn protein, eat your goddamn nutrients, eat your goddamn interesting and tasty foods in your diet, not missing out on rice, not missing out on your chai, not skipping carbs. Like she just told that she avoids carbs if she wants to look a certain way, right? You don't have to do that. You could literally stay shredded even while eating carbs. So <laughs> she's clearly not tried the Zilocity diet and that works only if you consult me because I don't give you a diet. It's not a diet plan. I help you, I coach you where you can sustainably lose weight. It's that simple. I think when I did keto, I did it about 
two weeks and then I had a small, small intestine infection. When I'm not eating rice, I'm such a crabby person. I can't concentrate on anything that's happening. Okay, so see, Bengalis cannot live without rice. So why the hell would you want to do keto? I'll just mark out these categories of people that should not do keto, okay? Number one, this Bengalis. Number two, Assamese. Number three, South Indians. Number four, nobody. Like you do not have to do keto to lose weight. It's just a pathetic way of trying to lose weight in a few weeks and then feeling like stupid about it and then going going back to your routine and gaining your weight back. <laughs> okay, I don't have any problem against keto. It's just that it's not sustainable. And literally almost everyone with the right mind would vouch for it. Okay. The only kind of people that can do keto are the ones that really like having a lot of protein and fat and not having a lot of carbs. There are some people like that. <laughs> Weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> there are people like that, okay? And if you're one of those people that can actually like not have carbs and like just protein and fat for sustainably, like for a long term, then that's all cool. Finally, in the last one and a half years, I have come to and also my nutritionist, she's really, really helped me. She's just to give me these cups of what should be what quantity mm -hmm. so and I, I have realized that you know not really if i stick to that not that i'm losing weight but i don't even don't put on either so i have found finally found i think my balance that is what i was saying like you got it right but i'm just putting it in more technical terms it's just that you're eating your maintenance calories unknowingly clearly okay and your nutritionist well hey fellow nutritionist here maybe you should fix her goddamn protein just saying so she's found her balance, she enjoys her diet, it's all cool, I like it, she likes it, the nutritionist likes it, but the nutritionist should also be putting the protein, that's what I don't like and I would really want the nutritionist to add the protein and I would like Moni to have fish because she's a Bengali, maybe she's a vegetarian but she could have paneer and eggs and some people are vegetarians and they have eggs so vegetarians can have eggs and I hope you get the point. <laughs> and your cheat meals. Uh, fries with piri piri. I actually also love, really love Italian food. Pizza, more than pizza, I think it's the pastas. I love the aglio olio fusilli and made in uh, pesto. Okay, so in her cheat meals, she likes Chinese and everything Bengali, and she really likes she really likes having Italian and specifically pasta. Well, guess what? You could have pasta in your regular meals and not cheat for it. And I'm I'm just gonna spit truth, okay? Like, because that's what hey, that's what I do. <laughs> so you could eat pasta in your regular meals. It's not unhealthy, okay? You could make pastas really healthy, like I make at home. And trust me, it's it's no joke. You can literally enjoy your pasta while on a diet. Just eat your goddamn protein, add your goddamn healthy fats, add your goddamn veggies. You have healthy pasta. So you don't have to cheat for your favorite foods, okay? You could really make healthier versions of that. I love Chinese food. I make healthier versions of noodles, which fit under my 600 calories per meal. I use less olive oil and I have I add like chicken boneless pieces into that. And that really becomes like a very healthy version of noodles. Okay. So your diet does not have to be that complicated. Oh my God. I can, like literally. Well, hey, Moni, you could literally just not go oh my god <laughs> on that well uh, rip headphone users i'm so sorry for that <laughs> all right so this is the end of the video i hope you actually liked watching the video and if you did abhi tak to pata hi hai aapko niche jao like share subscribe sare button daba do dislike wala button soch ke dabana theek hai agar aapko sachhi mein ghatiya lagti hai meri shakal to daba do but that's okay <laughs> subscribe to my channel if you haven't already also click the bell icon if you want to get notifications of whenever i post videos that would be really amazing right and if you want to hit me up for my personal coachings and video consultations then this is my instagram you can head over to my instagram and i would love to help you and again thanks for watching the video i'll see you in the next video